53-year-old Aristakes Kocharyan is a native of Gyumri. He and his wife were given this hut in 1998. For as long as our children remember, they've had to grapple with these living conditions. It certainly has had a severe impact on their psychological well-being. It's here that three of their four children were born. The family has done its best to furnish the hut and make it look somewhat decent. Money has always been tight and I've been in bad health. Before I got sick, I used to work abroad and was able to provide for my family. A constant terror affecting all members of the family are the rats, the uninvited guests of this cramped, 30 square meter hut. We have no choice but to put out rat poison in little plates. The rats come out, eat it and die. We dispose of them using a broom and a dustpan. Little Misha hopes to become a famous athlete. Already, he has had several achievements in junior competitions. His older sister, Lucy Ne, works at a bank, but has other aspirations. I'd like to get accepted to the pedagogical university. It has a newly opened fine arts department. That's where I'd like to study. I love painting. One of the older sisters is a dental assistant, while the other dreams of becoming a medical researcher and finding a cure for cancer. It's very sad that people are dying because there's no cure for their illnesses. Everyone in the family, and especially the parents, dream of having a new home. But with a total household budget of less than $265 a month, and the fact that only Arevik and her mother have steady jobs, owning a decent home one day seems beyond the realm of possibility. Representatives of the Hayastan All Armenian Fund came and interviewed us. They were astonished that all six of us lived in this tiny hut. See what else there is in it. A cup. And what's in it? What are those? Well, they're the keys to your new apartment. The Karapetians come out of the hut, never to return. One last photo. The future champion deftly turns the key and the door opens. May this home bring you much happiness. Janna is gripped by emotion. She's overwhelmed by the sight of the marvelous apartment and its brand new furnishings. It's got an oven, hot water, a heating system and a refrigerator. It's got everything we need. All we have to do is move in. Our whole lives have changed. Mish, do a straddle stretch for us. Come on. Future medical researcher Arevik is grateful to the Hayastan All Armenian Fund and its benefactors. If, hopefully, my dream comes true, I will work with the Hayastan All Armenian Fund for sure, and one day I myself will buy a house for a family. What we saw today was simply amazing. Despite having lived in dreadful conditions, the Kocharians have raised four wonderful children. This is no small feat, and it's our honor to be of assistance to this family. Hello, how are you? Great, thank you. We too were given a home by our Hayastan All Armenian Fund. Janna's family welcomes their very first guest. She's their neighbor, Gohar Gomtsev. A single mom who a year ago was likewise provided with a home by the Hayastan All Armenian Fund. Thank God, this is a great gift. A big thank you to our Hayastan All Armenian Fund. And may this home bring you much luck. This is the 30th apartment in Gyumri to have been purchased by the Hayastan All Armenian Fund and presented to a family in need of housing assistance. Three of the apartments were gifts from the German Armenian community 
Yeste Rajanian and Shushan Khachaturian, volunteers with the fund's German affiliate, are also present as the Kocharians settle in. We receive generous support from Armenian and non-Armenian Germans alike. It's a great joy for us. We too get emotional, just like the beneficiary families, because it's so heartwarming to share the happiness of people who now have a new home after years of having struggled for a little place of their own.